The Life Straw is a super portable water filtration device that's so convenient to use. But would you use it to drink water from a stagnant, muddy pool like this one? I've used the Life Straw on many hiking and camping trips and never had a problem. It is said to remove 99.999999% of waterborne bacteria and protozoan parasites and to reduce turbidity down to 0.2 microns. Now what I want to know is what this muddy water will look like once it passes through the Life Straw. Now this is not a paid product review. I'm simply doing this because I really like the Life Straw and I think it's a good tool to have in your camping kit. Now this is a brand new Life Straw. It's never been used. All I've done is remove the packaging and I've primed it, which means I just simply submerged it under water so that the whole filtration system can get moistened. And now it's ready to use. Okay, here I have two, two jars. And in one of these, I'm going to dip a nice muddy sample of this water. This is not something that I would drink as it is. I'm gonna place the other jar here. And what I am going to do, open up the lids on the life straw, and I'm going to suck this water out, and then I'm gonna spit it into the clean jar. This is kind of hard to do. Let's see here. All right, here, get a good look at this. It is very brown. In fact, you know what? I'm gonna make it even more brown. I'm gonna make it really disgusting. I just dumped it in here, it's, oh my God. Now, that is definitely not something that I would drink. All right, place it right there. And here we go. Wow. This is good enough to show you. Look at the difference in that water. I can clearly see through the filtered water. And this is the puddle, stagnant, muddy scum water. <laughs> This, this I'm willing to drink. You know what? <laughs> I'm impressed. That is really incredible. This tasted, it did not have a bad taste at all. It tastes, um, I think I would have to say it tastes better than tap water. Um, it has a very, very slight flavor that it's not bad though. It's just, um, you know, maybe it's a little heavier in minerals, which would be expected. Wow. That was, that's not great. I'm very happy with this, the life straw. Now, when you finish using it, you always blow through it to get out all the dirty water so that it, when it dries, it doesn't stick to the filter. And then when you get home or you get to a place that, where there's clean water available, then you just rinse it on both ends and blow the water through. The, blow the water through. And that's good to go. This uh, Life Straw is, they say will last for about 1,000 liters, which is a pretty good long time. And I think that would uh, vary depending on the turbidity of the water, the dirtiness of the water. This is pretty dirty, so. I think if I was always drinking out of a puddle like this, that the life of the life straw would be significantly shorter. Um, but this is definitely a very good tool. It is so convenient to not have to carry gallons of water with you when you go on hikes. As long as there's a, a water source, a clean water source, this will not filter seawater and it will not filter toxic water. If it has chemical toxins in it, it's not gonna, it's not gonna filter that out but for bacteria and protozoa, things you'll find in nature, 
this is a perfect tool to have and you can totally rely on it. So get one of these, I highly recommend it.